This fan-made Finance at Freddy's game got cancelled and taken down for the craziest reason that I bet you wouldn't even guess. And we're gonna be talking about that in this video. And that game is LEGO Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes, there was a LEGO fan-made Five Nights at Freddy's game that did release but isn't available anymore. And the backstory behind this takedown is insane and there is literally no other fan game that went through this kind of commotion ever before. So before we get into this crazy topic, I have an announcement for you guys. So let me just get something done real quick and I'll show you guys what that announcement is. So just one second here, just, just hold on. Don't, don't skip the video, just give me one second and boom. Yeah, so I got some little character PNG art for my videos now and trust me, these images Images are way better than the helpy I've been using for the past couple of months. Just it's just been the same gif and it's just been annoying and I couldn't deal with it anymore. So I got this now. And I want to shout out the person that made these for me. Here is her Instagram right here. Please go follow her and check out her content. She doesn't have anything on her page as I'm making this video, but she might by the time this video is out. But anyways, go follow her Instagram and another thank you to her. But there's just one last thing I have to mention before we get into this video. There's another YouTuber right here on the screen that actually made a video about this game just as well. Just know I'm not stealing his video because it I didn't even realize he made a video until after I edited this video and got it all complete. So please go check him out too. I'm not trying to copy him. I'm just shouting him out so people don't think I am. Now, geez, I don't even know where to start. Lego Finance at Freddy's was a game developed by Sunken Studios. But before I get into the background information about this game and the whole takedown situation, I'm gonna tell you guys the basic synopsis of this game. It's literally just Finance at Freddy's 1, except it's all Lego. Oh, really? I didn't know that. And if you guys have ever played the original older Lego games like the original Lego Batman game, there's even little things you can buy with coins in these games. Or well, studs as they're called. Each night you complete, you can get studs and you can unlock stuff and get upgradable things. So it's not an exact replica of Finance at Freddy's 1, but it's basically the same thing, just with extra stuff and it's all Lego. And it's an amazing game. And it's a really big shame that we can't play this anymore. Or well, maybe we can. If you guys stick to the end of the video, I might be able to get you guys in on a little secret that no one knows about. So make sure to subscribe if you love Five Nights at Freddy's and if you like Finance at Freddy's content. Now, we're gonna backtrack a second. You guys know how I said that the game had its own little currency system, but was other than that, the exact same game and basically an exact replica? Well, this is where the game ran into its first set of problems. Huh? Now, Scott has taken down games before in the past that have been just repos, games that have been remakes of the Finance at Freddy's games if they were too similar to the original, and things basically just like that. Scott will remove your game from Game Jolt if it's very close to one of the original FNAF games. And he's been doing this for years, so this isn't any new. In the announcement post on Game Jolt that Sunken Studios did for the DMC takedown of LEGO FNAF, they even mentioned that they thought the DMC 8 was gonna come from Scott himself. Which, why would you be making a game if you already think Scott is gonna take it down and waste all that hard work and time into something that you do know will be or might be taken down? Why did you continue development if you knew the game would get taken down? Money. But skipping past that, it didn't get taken down by Scott, so that wasn't the issue here. The issue was that LEGO actually did the DMCA takedown and took down the game themselves, even though the developers weren't profiting from the game at all. The developers made you download and buy Finance at Freddy's 1 from Steam in order for you to even play the game, so Scott was still getting paid. So as I said, Scott didn't have the issue here, it was LEGO. And the crazy thing was too, is that they had the whole original Finance at Freddy's trilogy lined up. There's trailers on YouTube for the first, second, and third FNAF LEGO game that were in development. And there's even a game jolt page still up for Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the Lego version, with a bunch of teasers, pictures, and just stuff like that on it. And as I was researching for this video, I looked on the Lego Five Nights at Freddy's YouTube page and clicked on their community tab, and just a couple months ago, the creator of that page, or whoever runs it, I'm not really too sure, they made a community post saying that they might use the characters for YouTube videos and make shorts and little skits using them. Now, I don't know if that's also going to cause legal issues and do another DMCA takedown, or if they just didn't learn their lesson, I, I really don't know how the fair use works on that, but they might still be making content with the Lego FNAF property, even though they don't own the FNAF property or the LEGO properties at all. So we'll see how that goes in the future, but I just thought of something to bring up since I haven't heard anyone else bring up anything about it since it's so recent. But for the people that don't know much about this situation, I'm going to go in depth real quick about what a DMCA takedown is and what this means for the franchise and why the game was cancelled and isn't able to be legally distributed anymore. So I'm not going to read the whole DMCA takedown, but just the most important part of it and, well, basically why the game got taken down in the first place. So I'm going to read it for you. Accordingly, we hereby demand that you immediately remove or disable access to the infringing material available at the well the URL for the game for trademark infringement brand a Lego landing and then the URL again which the game is located at, at game Jolt. we have a good faith believe that use of the trademarks and copyrighted images described above in connection with the domain and URLs described above is not authorized by the trademark owner and such use is not otherwise permissible under applicable law which is basically just saying that they don't have the right to use their material or characters or their logos or anything Lego related this letter is provided without prejudice to any 
any claims or remedies that the LEGO Group may have in connection with this matter whatsoever, all of which are expressively reserved. The LEGO Group reserves the right to take further action without notice, which also means that if they don't take out the game, they can do it themselves. Sincerely, the LEGO Group brand protection. Now, you guys should already know what that means, but if you have the brain size of Patrick, well, I just explained it. This is just saying that the developers of the game don't have any right to use the LEGO trademark in any sort of way. Even though I'm pretty sure LEGO doesn't have FNAF minifigures, it's just that they replicated them so much that, well, you can't use them. But they did use the LEGO trademark, which is why it got taken down. And then this goes back to what I said earlier, how you had to buy the game off of Steam to even download or play this version of it. People might have been buying the game just to play this LEGO version, which inherently means that they were buying the game, which is giving Scott money, to play the LEGO version, which means Scott would technically be getting LEGO's profit, if that makes I sense. Want. Now, I bought FNAF 1 years ago, but if I were to download the LEGO version, that technically means that the money I paid to buy the game is LEGO's money. Now, this is a very unfortunate situation for the whole Finance at Freddy's community, and a bunch of people were outraged once this news came out. A lot of people were looking forward to this trilogy of games that were, well, taken away from us. Maybe we could have had them if the development team reached out to LEGO beforehand, but honestly, if LEGO is so butthurt about this, I don't think they would have even allowed access in the first place. And that really sucks because I was looking forward to these. I just found out about these games like a couple months ago. I didn't even know about these. And by the time I found out about these games, they were already taken down. And this would have been one of the best fan-made FNAF trilogies or just fan games in general ever if they weren't taken down over some stupid copyright. Now, a bunch of people were saying that you could just use the off-brand version or just some off-brand Legos or just kind of, you know, use an off-brand style to it or replace the minifigures. But I don't think that would work either. The main reason the game got taken down was because of the minifigure style. But this is a very unfortunate situation. There's not much more to really talk about it. The only new news we got about it is that they might be using the characters and the assets for the game for YouTube shorts and just overall general purpose content on their YouTube. Now, I don't think that means any games are coming in the future for obvious reasons, but who knows? They might be trying to make the best out of this terrible situation. But hey, who knows? Maybe someone at LEGO could greenlight a Finance at Freddy's project or a video game and then these guys could develop it for them or, you know, something like that. I'm very shocked that they have Minecraft sets, but they don't have Finance at Freddy's sets, which is also, you know, it's not a kid's game, but a bunch of kids do play it, kind of the same as Minecraft, and they could totally make a bunch of money off of it. So I don't know why they haven't even thought of it or even gone for it. But knowing the internet, someone might make a petition online to try and get it saved. You never know. But honestly, I don't think that's going to happen, but it would be pretty cool to see the support for the game come back because it's honestly died down. And since there's no news about this game and the only news is the YouTube stuff, I really don't think we're going to recover from this, which is really unfortunate. But don't worry, guys. I do have some good news for you if you really want to play this project or if you're super interested in it. Now, this is top secret, so try not to leak this out anywhere or, tr you know, try not to spread the word. But since we're almost at the end of the video, here's that surprise. Now, just so my video doesn't get taken down by LEGO, all I'm going to say is this. You can still find the link online. I can't say where, and I'm not promoting you to go and look for this link because that could get my video taken down. But if you guys are still really interested in it, you can search it up online and you can find it. And just know I'm not promoting this. You guys shouldn't do this because, you know, obviously there's legal issues and it's not really recommended. But if you guys really want to, you could. But I never told you this and I'm not promoting it and not saying you should at all. But with that information, I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.